Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, my name is Ben Shreff and I am the curator in the Ed Iwashi or gardener here at Rohoen, the Japanese Friendship Garden here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. This is our executive director, Reiko Rivas. And today we're going to be uh, explaining and then assembling uh, what's called a katamatsu, which is a traditional uh, Japanese New Year decoration. You'll find katamatsu at the front of homes or businesses, or in our case, at, at the front gate of our garden. So katamatsu literally means gate pine. Kato means gate and matsu means pine. So the katamatsu can be thought of as a, a sort of temporary housing uh, for the, uh, the, the good New Year spirit that we want to bring in, which is known as Toshigami. Um, and so that's why we create this, this beautiful arrangement, is to welcome in the Toshigami uh, for the New Year. Um, there is significance to the different elements of, of the katamatsu, and I'll be talking about these as we uh, put the, the arrangement together. So to prepare the bamboo for the katamatsu, uh, we want to have three pieces with this cut on the top so that we get to see the, the face, or sometimes this is even referred to as the smiley face on the, on the bamboo. And so in order to do this, we're going to cut through the hushi, hushi or, the, or the node as we would say on the on the bamboo and then that's going to give us the cross cut that we want for the face and we're going to do it at a at a pretty small angle it's a it's a sharper angle than even a 45 and just like japanese uh, pruning saws the bamboo saw cuts on the the pull, not the push. That's the way the teeth are arranged on the saw. And bamboo saws have really small, fine teeth to make a pretty smooth cut. So just like this, we get our our face of the bamboo and then we can clean up the face a little bit um, we also use a comma a sharp comma uh, to do this sometimes to get it even smoother but today we're using a bamboo saw designs for uh, the katamatsu can, can vary a little bit depending on Know, the region of Japan or, or just personal preferences and in our case uh, you know we're in the desert and so some of our our plant material is is a little bit different um, but the themes are, are about the same so um, you want to have a decorative pot um, and so what we've done is we've built a few brushwood fences around the garden this year and I had some extra brushwood fencing so I cut it to the size of just what is a standard nursery pot, wrapped it around the pot, and then added some uh, leftover thick sisal twine, which we had from our post and rope fencing uh, that we've installed throughout the garden. Then the other traditional common themes you'll find in a katamatsu are uh, pine, bamboo, and uh, plum sprays. Uh, the other two things we're going to use are uh, Nandina or Heavenly Bamboo and some flowering cabbage. And so the pine that we're going to use you want to have some pine? represents uh, longevity in the arrangement. Uh, 
pine is, is evergreen. That's where part of the, the meaning comes from. And then we're going to face the pine and the pine buds uh, towards the, the guest or the, the viewer. Um, and this is sort of like a welcoming. So the bamboo that we have at the center of, of the katamatsu has a meaning as well. And so we've got it at three different levels. The three di different levels represent uh, the top level is uh, the celestial world or, or, uh, or the heavens. Uh, the middle size represents humanity. And then this uh, level here represents the natural world or, or nature. Uh, so next I'm going to put in the uh, plum or ume. Uh, and this represents uh, determination or steadfastness. And the next thing I'm going to add is the Nandina or heavenly bamboo. It's called Nanten in, in Japanese. And Nandina or Nanten um, is thought of as sort of a protector of the home or the garden or the business um, from, from evil spirits. This is uh, flowering kale, or cabbage in this case. And we're going to place it at the front of the katamatsu and it adds some, some color. It also holds up well in, in cold weather, which is usually what we have around the, the new year. Thank you for joining us today here at uh, the Japanese Friendship Garden here in Phoenix. And we want to wish you a uh, happy new year in 2021. And we look forward to seeing you here in the garden. Arigato gozaimashita.